Welcome back to American Medicine Today. I'm here with Dr. Benatti, and something bothers me. There is a big change in medicine and medical training. Why don't you elaborate? We have a lot of different situations that's happening in medicine in the last 10 years. First, the intrusion of the government in medicine create a turmoil on the training programs. They start to push more and more uh, towards uh, general medical health care. Why who, is that? Because it's a copy of a socialistic mind. Uh, they want more patients to do drugs and uh, less patients to do surgery. Got it. Uh, and unfortunately for this concept, the American medicine is the best medicine in the world because we solve problems. Not mask we don't them with painkillers. problems. Got it. And when you have a general practitioner who is going to try to treat your eyes, probably is going to miss 90% of the problems. Correct. And when you are blind, then you're going to go to a specialist who's going to make you wait 10 years before they see you. I know you think this is a governmental issue, but I tend to think it's some of the lobbyists. I mean, don't you think big pharma really factors in to the discussion because they are constantly approaching those in government for different medicines? But Do you think that's part of that change? Absolutely, but, but, but it's because we keep relying on the government to manage medicine. Okay. The and they're not trained. The government cannot manage medicine. Look at the joke that we have right now with these 20 or 30 individuals that they are postulating for president of the United States. These people are not only, not only incompetent, right. but at the same time they are so arrogant that they have no knowledge and they are trying to manage this country. Well, they're trying to push health care. But really, when you look into what type of health care they have, it is vastly different from what they're trying to push on the public. Because the problem with the socialism and the problem with the, with the Democrats, the Democratic Party is very, very focused in, in, in producing certain things that they are going to be the platform of the Democrats. And one is control medicine. Yes. And control medicine is very important because you control the whole population of the country. Of course. Okay? So how is that factoring in to those in the medical field, though? You but, said that they're trying to get away from specialties and they're focusing more on, say, internal medicine. and. Yeah, because that, that way is a cheap medicine. Then when they say to you, we will offer to you general type of coverage, they're not telling you that when you need a hip replacement, you're going to have a hip replacement. Right. No, no, they are telling you they're going to give you little pills of aspirin or something like that. Go home and live with it. And if you are 65 and over, they are not going to do your hip. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, probably will because this generation is accustomed to that service. Right. But in like around two generations from now, it's going to be no service to the old people. Isn't there also a, a shortage rather of medical doctors and kind of an influx now of DOs? Unfortunately, uh, the selection of the, of the physicians is, is now being changed. It's not only the influx in DOs, but at the same time is the influx of nurse practitioners. Got it. So what happened is they are moving the, the, the medicine they are moving the medicine to a type of governmental service. Mm -hmm. And if we continue in this direction, we will see nurses doing brain surgery. And it's not going to be unusual to go, I go to this nurse practitioner and yes. she's going to remove a, brain, a tumor from my brain, mm -hmm. all right? With That's how much training in comparison to a regular MD? Well, thousands and thousands of hours. But the major trouble is, the government don't care. Right. That is why government needs to walk out from the approach to medicine. If, if I will be Donald Trump, I will immediately change the direction and I will say the government has nothing to do with medicine. It's business. Right. But medicine is a concept to, of two, two different types of approach. One is the art of medicine and the other one is the business of medicine. And both they need to go together. Right. Government is an intruder, is cancer inside of those two. Right. And it's going to eat alive both. But most people bring up the AMA, but the AMA has gotten in the pockets of insurance companies, so they aren't really to be trusted either. AMA is a, is a product of a governmental overtake. Mm -hmm. 
when AMA is, was in a situation of decreasing amount of respect for physicians, also start to decrease the amount of population of AMA physicians applying for, then the constituency becomes uh, smaller. Then they start to look for what other substitution of income they can have. And in the idea, they develop the idea of the coding system. And the coding system immediately was attached to the government yes. and immediately was attached to the insurance companies. So American Medical Association, rather, uh, was immediately a slave of those two, and now is dependent. So right. become a dependent individual from the government and the insurance companies. So the management now is no defense for doctors, and no protection for doctors, no correction of this type of abuses of the insurance companies or abuses of the government. Right. Is, is a situation that they cannot do more because they're attached to this dependency. So. The only way to correct that is that the government needs to walk out from medicine, leave alone the system, and you're going to see how medicine reflores again, and immediately you're going to see prices coming down, and you're going to see the bullies out of medicine and the stupid politicians, okay? <laughs> because I can't believe the politicians and the Democrats. I just go and I get in awe when I listen to these people be so stupid. But even the conservatives don't have a full grasp on it. They, they weren't trained really in providing care. They, they think they understand they it, but they don't know. Yes. Look, look what really happened. Look at something very simple example. You have, you have probably, in my life here, I, have, I saw probably around maybe 10 presidents that went through the, to the, to the, to the White House, okay? But let me tell you one thing. Everyone screwed up worse. Maybe the only one who had some minor ideas was Reagan. And then suddenly now, you have one man who comes over and in two years, turned the country in a productive country right. with a tremendous amount of jobs available, with a tremendous amount of economy, right. and they are attacking him like crazy because the incompetence, their egos are so big mm -hmm. that they cannot stand that somebody can be better than them. Right. And instead to go and learn, the attack, and the, the attack is incredible. You talk about learning, but what they learned is the government is supposed to provide for them, and that's not really what the true American dream was about. It was about dreaming and achieving a level of success. Thank you for watching and listening to American Medicine today.